The spotted Telqualo in far north Queensland has been isolated from the main other species southeastern Queensland for over 200 years. Being isolated, they become uh, an individual genetic species and it's our responsibility to actually hold that species in place. Because if we lose them, you can't replace that species. Most people don't realise that this animal is here only for three years and they die, that's it. So if you break the wildlife corridor that is established or was established previously, if a male doesn't get across to the, to the habitat of the female, that's it, it's over. You know, in three years, the entire colony will die. Public is the ones that are going to move and change laws in Australia. It's a responsibility for all of us about our Australian wildlife. It's a species that nobody knows anything about it. Um, scientifically, everything is known about it, but from the, the public point of view, it's very little that they know that we've got this species that actually are considered as a cousin of the thylacine. One of the, the biggest problems is uh, rainforest fragmentation. On top of that is also uh, the lack of management. We haven't been looking for these animals for, for a long, long, long time. Since 2001, that was the last time that this animal scientifically were looked upon. Uh, and uh, those times was about 540 uh, uh, species in, in the area. And now we're finding that if we've got 350 of them in far north Queensland, we are very, very lucky. The, the really important thing that everybody should realise is that they can actually get involved with conservation. Um, get out um, and volunteer on projects where you actually get to um, see the animals up close and personal. And these are endangered species, so you know, not many people get to do that.